Hi, Len Goucher here with uh, Board Chairman for the Rocky Lake Development Association, Barry Mason, and also the Rocky Lake Dome General Manager, uh, Gary Hines. Barry, uh, we're coming up to the end of the year. Uh, maybe you could give us just a, maybe a little update from the perspective of the Board uh, and the operations for 2009-2010. Well, it's been a great success for us. The Rocky Lake Dome Arena has been run very well by Gary and his team. And uh, as a result, the association is in a positive financial position at the end of the year, our first year of operations. We hadn't expected that, uh, but uh, Gary and his team has done an excellent job to make sure that we're providing a facility, meeting the needs of the community, uh, but also doing it in a, a financially prudent manner so that the board can continue. So this is, this is phase one, and we're excited about the, the work over the past year and your hard work, Gary. Barry, uh, this is kind of a, a diversion from it, but uh, March 27th is uh, Earth Day, and the Rocky Lake Dome, when we initially started, I know we had uh, specific targets to meet for electricity, for propane, and I understand, uh, and maybe you can correct me on this, but I understand that we've met those targets and exceeded them, and actually, I think with electricity, we're probably 20 or 25 percent below expectation or what we needed. Yeah, certainly in terms of uh, you know our positive financial position, it's not only the revenue side, which has been very strong because of the demand out there, but also our expenses have been kept in check. Our power consumption costs were lower than what we anticipated this year, uh, which is great news, uh, both for the environment and for our bottom line, so that we can continue to provide this product which is desperately needed uh, by our community. Uh, Barry, uh, I don't want to touch on, on, a, on a tough subject, but uh, the Quadruplex uh, is scheduled to open sometime either uh, 2010 or 2011. Uh, from a board perspective, do you see this as a, as, a, as a positive for the community, interfering with the or affecting the uh, Rocky Lake Dome at all? No, it won't affect the Dome. I think it's, uh, I think it's a positive for the community. The reality is uh, we had estimated uh, a number of uh, years ago that there was a demand in this area for three, four, five rinks. Uh, the fourplex, as I understand it, will serve a larger area in terms of uh, uh, than, than just our dome. Uh, and, uh, and that's fine. It, uh, I think the two projects can work hand in hand to deliver much needed services uh, and ice time for the, for the kids and members of our community. Uh, Gary, uh, from the standpoint of the Rocky Lake Dome, um, it's been quite a year for us. We've had, uh, we were, I know we were calculating here the other day, uh, Barry, we were calculating, we had about 35,000, and that's a very conservative number uh, of young people and adults through the door, players. Uh, that's not including the, the parents who, who came with them uh, at the Dome. Gary, can you give, me, give us an update as to when the ice is going to be removed uh, and maybe what's happening for the rest of the year? Glenn will be taking the ice out on April the 29th, which is a month later than we had planned. Uh, we found that the insulation we put in the dome and, and the power that we've got in our generating plants are going to be able to keep our ice consistent and uh, keep the quality of ice we've had throughout the season. When it comes out on the 29th, we'll spend three or four days uh, taking the ice out and cleaning it up, drying it. The lines will be going in and we'll bring lacrosse in. Lacrosse will be our main tenant for the summer months, although we've also got some requests for roller hockey and floor hockey, uh, dry land training for baseball and uh, perhaps some recreational soccer so it looks like our program will fill in pretty good and we'll be busy and consistent over the summer uh, shutting down probably in uh, August mid-August to do a couple of weeks of uh, cleanup and renovation and put the ice back in and hopefully the ice will be open for uh, Labor Day weekend. Uh, Barry just back to you just for one second uh, just something I know we've had a lot of questions on it I know Gary has as well uh, the issue of, uh, of uh, bleachers, will we be putting some bleachers in probably for the season for next year? Yeah, absolutely. And, and just to follow up on Gary's comments about the, the use of the dome in the summertime, it's very positive for us. We had looked at this facility as an ice arena. We were hoping there might be some demand uh, so that we could use the facility for other uh, sports in, in the summertime, spring and summer. And gosh, it's great news to know that lacrosse and baseball and dry land training, all of this uh, roller hockey can be used in the facility so we can reach out to even a greater community than just hockey. Uh, so it's fabulous that that's, uh, that's going to occur. Very, very, if I interrupt it, it might be uh, fair to point out too that not only we're we having a veteran lacrosse, but we will have soccer lacrosse, so we will continue to be a regional facility providing regional needs. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, that, that's just fabulous news. So we'll continue with the project and uh, obviously the uh, uh, things have gone ex exceedingly well for uh, for the association this year and for the community in my view. Yeah. Well, look, that's great. And uh, look, uh, Gary, uh, from the board, I know uh, you did a wonderful job as manager this year. You've uh, brought in a lot of business. I know that uh, 
the, the guys that are working for us over at the Dome are responsible for a lot of the uh, loyalty that we do have because people love them and they like working with them. Uh, you've done a great job, Barry, on behalf of, uh, I know I'm, I'm one of the board members, but on behalf of all of us and the people of the community, I want to congratulate you, congratulate all the members of the board for just a great job and for providing this facility at a very, very critical juncture uh, in the, in the uh, life of uh, the arenas here in the HRM, and we look forward to uh, a bright future. Thanks very much, and uh, goodbye, everybody.